Hi everyone, it's Ina here. Today, let's find out how to grow crops. There are two types of crop growing boxes. One is called cultivation box. The other is called hydroponics box, which used to be called water culture. The cultivation box requires only five boards and five clays to compare it to the hydroponic box of five boards, two simple parts, four plastics and two iron ingots. The days taking crops to mature is the same, 15 days. Cultivation box costs less material to build and it could use both the fertilizer and nutrient solution. But you need to watch the moisture percentage, it drops in a daily basis. When it gets to too low percentage, you will have to manually water it with a water bottle. People say great investment comes with great benefit, but I don't really see a lot more benefit from the hydroponic box, except that you could connect it to the water storage for automatic irrigation. In my opinion, the hydro box is more efficient because I don't have to remind myself to water the crops while I'm busy taking stuff from other people's houses. Each element will have different effects on crop plant. Water affects development and the life of the plant. Fertilizer affects development and the maturity time. Sunshine affects development and the maturity time too. Development affects harvest, which means that it affects the quantity of the crop you will get at the end. There is an example, I have these two crops planted at the same time. The one without fertilizer is one mature day behind the one with fertilizer. Keep in mind that the hydro box accepts only nutrient solution as fertilizer. Both the fertilizers could be crafted in the culture workbench. Nutrient solution costs 3 rotten food to make, which is one more than the fertilizer. But the production time is 30 seconds, which is 4 times faster than the fertilizer. Besides the two elements fertilizer and water we mentioned before, the crops need the third element to grow properly, which is sunshine. Sunshine is pretty straightforward. Put the box outdoors, you could even get sunshine during night time. When you have the three elements, you could start establishing your little crop farm. You might be finally relieved with a long sign that you could have your calves sorted. The winter comes and changes the situation as the cold weather might wipe out your crops. That's why there's a structure called the greenhouse. From the name, you probably think the developers must be drunk when designing the structure. Who would want to build a house with green color when there are so many other things to build? It is actually a house for the two types of boxes and it keeps a constant temperature. It could fit at least 50 boxes with walking space in between. Of course, such structure does not come simple in terms of building material. All the simple parts, plastic, boards, rubber are not that difficult to obtain. But look closely, 30 glasses, what is glass? Let's quickly check the technology chart. It requires a limestone to unlock. It could be produced in the smelting furnace or the electric furnace and I believe the electric furnace only takes half the time of the smelting furnace. 4 limestone, 2 stone and 1 clay to make 1 glass. That means 30 glasses needs 120 limestone. Living in this land for 2 years I have not seen a huge amount of limestone. I have searched many mineral sites and limestone rock is the rarest. And it is one coincidence that I saw a strange pale rock in one of the mineral sites. No, this is not limestone either. Or maybe. And I discovered the first limestone rock in my game. Oh, it is limestone. Oh. I felt like I have seen a new light in the dark. And that yes. leads me to the widespread search right. of limestone. Limestone have the shape of clay, but with pale surface color. Similar color to iron rock, but slightly larger in size. Oh, that's limestone! For limestone rocks, I have found one or two in these sites. And for limestone loot, definitely check out this mineral factory. You could just pick them up from the mineral piles or loot the boxes. And other locations that are scattered all over the map. I hope this quick guide could resolve some of your confusion and worries. Well, see you next guide.